Hello everyone and welcome to a wonderful video of the MGN channel. I am your host Cornish. Let's talk about Earth from Another Sun. You not leave this place alive. So not a lot of you may know Earth from Another Sun, but this game is currently in development and uh, I had the pleasure to play it and have an interview with one of the uh, team. So let's start by talking about it. So Earth from Another Sun is a game that is like Mountain Blade meets Borderlands. A rogue-like strategy type game, which is pretty cool. With wide variety of weapons and upgrades and other abilities. Mate, this game is really good um, from what I played. Currently it's in alpha. Uh, you can get a load of packages, which we will be getting to that very soon. So with Earth for Another Sun, uh, the developers are called Multiverse. They went on to make Seeking Dawn and Defenders of the Realm VR. Now, those both games are pretty dope, and we'll get around to that at some point. So let's get into the uh, gameplay, and I'll show you a little bit about it. So the first thing I saw was two menus on the alpha. Uh, there was conquest mode and there was rogue dungeon fighting thing. And uh, the first thing, I, of course, you know, you want to conquer, you know. So the first thing I've seen in the alpha was was in our little station, prepping up and all that shenanigans. And then I went straight into battle. So the first thing I see in the battlefield was what I can only describe as Warhammer things. But like, I just wanted to say FOR THE EMPEROR! CHARGE! things but then I saw something afar and then as soon as I got up there I was like oh god And then we move over to the roguelike game. As you can see here, you can see my uh, current weapon and my secondary weapon. Over here is your suit upgrade. So you can either add more to the suit and then upgrade it later on. Uh, down here is your ability. So if you press on one of the number keys, you'll use your abilities. So for me, I've got a grenade and that will be used a lot. And also potion, you can only use one time, I believe. At the bottom left here, where it says 11, uh, that's the amount of times I can use my abilities for the grenades. So, say for instance, I went on a rampage with the grenades. Um, I shall shoot you. You see that? It goes down to three and one. So, the green one's level one. I believe blue's level two. Uh, and then it keeps going up, you know, different numbers depending on the colors. Potions and other equipment things you can be used one time. As you can see, you can only use it one time. 
with that being said, uh, throughout the roguelike mode, you do stop by a shop in one of the levels, and you can either change weapons and upgrade, or you know, add more to your suit, or sell your um, your resource, or sell your materials, and either buy power up upgrades or even ability upgrades. You know, you can do all sorts of things. There is a lot going on with this game. Some of the rogue dungeons were pretty gnarly. I wasn't expecting to take on 50, but that scared me <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so yes, this is multiplayer, so if you want to bring someone to the rogue matches, uh, feel free. You both can probably get higher than what I could, and that would be probably wave 5. <laughs> if you do die and have a game over, you can move on to your talent, and you can still have your points. So each time you die and come back and you've got a certain amount of points to spend, you can use that to level up and go further in the rogue. Speaking of developer, we're going to change over to the next scene of when I had a discussion with one of the teams about this game. He was a really nice guy, and I must say, I'm going to be honest with you, this was my first time interviewing uh, a game team, developers, or team, and I was pretty nervous. So I hope you enjoyed this next segment, and uh, yeah, let's let's get on to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got one of the, uh, the teams from Multiverse, his name's Anthony. So, uh, tell me about your game, what is it about, and uh, yeah. So it's about you conquering a whole galaxy, mm -hmm. basically. So uh, you start up, uh, you're a prince that just lost uh, his kingdom and has been on the run. Uh, from an empire called oh. the Famous Empire. Oh, that sounds good. After they destroyed everything, killed basically your whole family. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you just have to build up your army from there, and uh, you will fight both in space and on planets, and you will partake in the battle while commanding your armies. That sounds awesome. Kind of like dude. not in play. Yeah. Oh, that, that actually sounds really awesome, because when I played the Conquer trial mode, uh, I came across a giant machine which blew my mind. Can you tell me about that machine? Is there, are we going to have any more of those types of things? Uh, well, that's actually a good question. Um, we weren't expecting people to love it that much. Uh, everyone loves it uh, in our ads, or people who just played the game before. A lot of people made the jump because of this mech, yeah. so definitely I'm pushing for more. Oh, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what people that's what people want. Yeah, it completely. Uh, honestly, it completely blew my mind of uh, when I first come across it. I, I saw the couple of the soldiers, and then I saw something far at the back, and I thought, oh, I might as well quickly check it out. And it literally is moving, and I was like, oh god. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, it, was, it was really, really, really cool. Um, I saw the weapons you play around with the game. Uh, I see you yeah. level them up. Uh, what's the level progress like on it with the uh, weapons? Well, as of now, it's, it's just a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, That's fine. You, you have uh, two ways of leveling up a weapon. Uh, you can uh, upgrade it, which just upgrades its level, mm -hmm. uh, which makes it more powerful. Or you can refine it, which also makes it more powerful. Uh, Oh, they wow. basically work the same right now. Uh, refining just upgrades the rarity. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, of the gun. Yeah, I noticed but, uh, after a while it was like uh, when I was playing the uh, road bit, <laughs> my my weapon started getting a bit more weaker, and then I saw something that you can upgrade it, and I thought, oh, that's good. But I didn't have the money at the time. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, with the with the conquer stuff, I, I found that very very interesting. You know. Uh, from when you, yeah. you start in your own little spaceport and then you go down to take on things. I also noticed uh, recently um, on one of your pictures you've got like different planets to go around, is that correct? Uh, what's uh, that we about? Will, we will have different planets of course. 
So you'll be conquering most planets. Oh wow. At least a solar system. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, we'll get on from here. Oh, excellent. Uh, what about the rogue type thing I, I, I saw? What can you say about that? I see that there's quite a bit of multiplayer on it, so that that's pretty cool. Um, I, I also see a lot of leveling up system, but the question I want to know, because uh, I was playing it, is when you die, do you still get your level progress, or do you have to start again from zero? No, no, you. the skill tree stays with you. Excellent. Oh, that's fantastic. That's amazing. For when the game will be finished, we don't exactly know how everything will work. Maybe the roguelike will be inside the conquest mode. Oh, It'll wow. be a way for you to get more stuff. That sounds uh, really good. That does actually. Yeah. I like the sound of that. We need to work things up, uh, things out. And um, because <laughs> progress in the conquest mode needs to be slower than the roguelike mode, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's totally. Uh, I get that. I also um, seen some vehicles. I've never got a chance to go on the vehicles in the game. I know I, if they're not there, that's fine. But um, what uh, when when you're using vehicles, because you're gonna you're gonna be in a big battlefield, right? So, um, what kind of vehicles would you be using? Like, are you gonna be using flying vehicles, or is it just land vehicles only? Um, there is an overbike right now, mm -hmm. but uh, it's basically a motorcycle. I mean. It is floating, but that's it. Over, overing. Jesus Christ, it's in the name. It's overing. <laughs> no, no but worries. It's a, that's it. It's it's still stuck to the ground. Oh, that's basically. fine. No, that's cool. Cause yeah, uh, running around in that whole battlefield is uh, pretty crazy. But then yeah. when you gotta get to one end to another uh, before I guess before your soldiers die, um, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a thing. But yeah, no, I, I saw some of the screenshots of like and videos of riding vehicles. But I never really had a chance to go on it. So with the equipment, like I, I know, you, I noticed when I had a, a health potion and a grenade. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's and then I had like a, a, a like other abilities. Is there any more than just five, or is there like a loads more coming? Uh we already have quite a lot. We have turrets. Oh wow! Different types of grenades, um, potions, mm -hmm. uh, a broken item that is called dope. Oh, what? <laughs> I, for, for now, it uses the same animation as the potion. It's supposed to make you run 50% faster. Oh, that's but good. It doesn't do anything when you run. Mm -hmm. And when you walk, you go at the speed of light. It's. Uh, we have a few players that love to break the game with this. Because <laughs> it just goes so fast. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, yeah, uh, what other wep uh, how many weapons do you have in the game at the moment? That, that's the thing, because uh, I think I only managed to come across three at the moment. Uh, I, I did see on some of the gameplays there's loads of other weapons. Well, um, what kind of other weapons are you going for? We have six as of now. We mm -hmm. had seven, but uh, one was a melee type weapon, and it's just bad, <laughs> so we removed it. <laughs> we actually need to rework them. Yeah. Uh, most of the weapons, because right now the SMGs, the double SMGs, are too powerful because most of our mods, the thing that improve your character, they all proc mm. uh, on a chance per hit basis. Yeah. So the m the more fire rate, the better. Oh, good, good. So, uh, do you have any like progress of any um, any completion of the game? So you're ready to put it out on the market, either as early access or just the legit full game. Uh, well, for now, uh, you can buy access to the alpha uh, through the, the mineral pack on our website oh, uh, the president pack also has the uh, alpha access and we have another pack if you just want to pre-order the game oh excellent that see that ladies and gentlemen um if you want i'll put all the information down in the description uh if you want to take a look i would suggest strongly suggest to have a look at that <laughs> uh i need to thank you very much for uh, this quick interview i really appreciate you taking your time to chat with me and uh i'm really looking forward to seeing all the new stuff of what i've played myself uh it has been an absolute like it's been mayhem. Like it kind of reminds me of the Serious Sam style, and I love those types of games. And then to have like a giant Goliath thing flying at you, <laughs> <laughs> or like, well, you know, walking towards you, it's like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, so, we need more, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
That is it for this small interview. Thank you so much again for taking your time to watch this. Uh, it was or a to... pleasure. Thank you for asking us to do that. Oh, mate. No, not a problem. Not a problem, man. And, uh, yeah, like I said, links in the, down in the description. And you guys got to go and check it out. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the multiverse for letting me have a go at this game and the interview with Anthony. I really appreciate that. And uh, to everyone, I've got all the information down below. Go and check it out. Uh, see if you like it and buy it and support the developers, all right? Support them. They're really nice people. Uh, their Discord's also down in the description as well. Feel free to ask them questions. They'll be happy to answer back. And yeah, that's it. Well, thank you so much for watching. You take care and have a wonderful day.